This is our heart. We're going to take a moment to explore the path of blood through our hearts. And as we do, we'll learn about the anatomy of the heart. Since our cardiovascular system is a circuit, meaning that the path of blood ends where it begins, we could really start anywhere. For our class, the path of blood will always start in the body. Blood entering the heart from the body is called deoxygenated blood. This means that the red blood cells are not carrying oxygen. Instead, they are carrying carbon dioxide, which is a waste material made by our cells in a process called cellular respiration. Blood from our body enters the heart in a section called the right atrium. It enters from two locations. First we will look at is a vein called the superior vena cava. From the first quarter, that superior means above. So this vein comes into the heart from above. It carries deoxygenated blood from the upper regions of our bodies, like our heads and our arms. The second vein is the inferior vena cava. Remember that inferior means below. So this vein comes into the right atrium from below. It carries deoxygenated blood from our lower regions of our bodies like our legs and our torso. Once the blood is collected into the right atrium, it will move through a valve called the tricuspid valve. The tricuspid valve is like a gate that is either open or closed depending on the phase of our heartbeat. When it is closed, blood is trapped in the right atrium. When it opens, blood flows past the tricuspid valve and into the right ventricle. When blood is in the right ventricle, the tricuspid valve slams shut so that the blood is trapped in there. The pulmonary valve then opens to allow that blood to flow into the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery then carries the blood to the lungs. Remember that the blood so far has no oxygen on it and instead has carbon dioxide. When the blood cells reach the lungs, they drop off the carbon dioxide to pick up oxygen. As soon as the red blood cells are oxygenated, they will flow from the lungs, through the pulmonary veins, and into the left atrium. You may notice that the pulmonary veins you see here are labeled left pulmonary veins. There are also right pulmonary veins. They also carry oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart. These are called right pulmonary veins because they enter the left atrium from the right side of the body, whereas the left pulmonary veins enter the atrium from the left side of the body. Oxygenated blood gets trapped in the left atrium until another valve opens. This valve is called the mitral valve. Blood passes the mitral valve to enter the left ventricle. Notice how thick the walls of the left ventricle are. These walls are made up of cardiac muscle and they must be very strong because the left ventricle has the job of pumping blood through our entire bodies. When the mitral valve closes, your blood encounters yet another valve called the aortic valve. The valve opens and oxygenated blood flows into the aorta. From the aorta, the blood can flow toward the upper regions of your body, like your head and your arms, or it can flow downward. It flows downward through what we call the descending aorta. The descending aorta has arteries branching off of it that carry blood to the lower regions of your body like your legs and your torso. So that is the root of blood through our hearts. Let's recap. Deoxygenated blood from the body enters our heart 
from the superior and inferior vena cavas. They enter the right atrium, and from the right atrium, that deoxygenated blood must pass through the tricuspid valve in order to enter the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, the blood passes through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary artery, where it will then travel to the lungs. In the lungs, the blood now becomes oxygenated. From the lungs, the blood then travels through our right and left pulmonary veins into the left atrium. From the left atrium, it passes through the mitral valve into the left ventricle, which then passes through the aortic valve into the aorta, and from the aorta, or the descending aorta, goes through our body.